Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations, as always, to the elect. And I wanted to go into Matthew, the 20th chapter, and the 25th verse, uh, which the scripture was used um, by uh, Vocab Malone in that discourse he had with the GMS Virginia camp, you know, as a means to say that um, us, you know, going into prophecy and speaking that, you know, we're going to rule over our oppressors and have dominion over the heathen is somehow, you know, um, of our own lust. It's wicked. All right. And he brought out the scripture here in Matthew 20 and 25. Where it says, but Yahweh called unto them and said, ye know that the princes of the Gentiles, the heathen, exercise dominion over them. And they that are uh, and they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. All right. And uh, this saying was a result of an argument that happened amongst the disciples. Uh, where well, the mother of two of the disciples asked Yahweh Shai, okay, um, if you go up to verse 20, the mother of Zebedee's children with her two sons, okay, which I believe that's uh, James and John, all right, but I, I, I'll have to uh, look into that and remember, but I believe that those are the, the mother of the children of Zebedee. Um, it says, then came the mother of Zebedee's children with her two sons, worshiping him and de desiring a certain thing. And he said unto her, what wilt thou? Like, what's going on? What's up? And she said unto him, grant that these two sons may sit on the right hand and the other on the left in thy kingdom. All right. But Yahweh answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I shall drink and to be baptized with the baptism that I shall be baptized with? You know what I mean? In the hell that he's going to catch for his position, all right, within his walk, all right, what the Lord has uh, given to him to get back to the right hand side. It's a lot, you know, and we're feeling that, all right, and it's only going to get worse, but it's going to get better as well. But, you know, his followers, his disciples had to go through some terrible things as well, just as he did. So. And they said unto him, we are able. All right. Basically, they was like, yeah. And he said unto them, ye shall indeed drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. Okay, because we know in the kingdom of heaven, under Yahweh Shah, you're going to have the 12 disciples established back in their order. Okay, and how the Heavenly Father does that, all right, we know Peter's going to be the head, but he's like, look, that's up to the Most High. All right, it says, but to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them whom it is prepared of my Father. Okay. And when the ten heard it, the other ten disciples heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren. Okay? So when you read verse 24 in the NLT, it says, When the ten other disciples heard what James and John had asked, all right, yep, the children of Zebedee, okay, it says they were indignant, <laughs> all right, because I guess they had their mother to ask that question, all right, but the two, you know, the, the, the ten disciples heard it and they start. They got mad, okay, but Yahweh and start talking crazy to one another, all right, which is something that's going to be addressed as well here in this lesson because we got to watch how we talk to one another, all right, but Yahweh Shai called to them, all right, and said, ye know, all right, let's read this in the NLT, Yahweh Shai called them together and said, you know how the rulers in this world Lorded over their people, 
and officials flaunt their authority over those under them, okay? And that's how heathen rule, okay? It says, but among you, it will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant, meaning, you know, sir, we, we were put here to serve, okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and one another, okay? And the greater the servant you are, the greater your reward, right? And it says, and whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Okay, meaning just because you have the highest position in the camp, just because you're the head of a camp, don't mean you lord over those under you and talk crazy to them. Okay, which may have been something that was going on um, amongst them and he, Yahweh addressed it. Okay. But it says here, for even the son of man came not to be served, but to serve others. And Yahweh Shai's life was an example of humility. He was an example of servitude. All right? He washed the feet of his, his disciples. He came to serve. He came to do the bidding of his father in heaven. And he was a great example that we should follow. Okay, And it seems like when it comes to following Yahweh Shai's example, a lot of brothers look at it as lame or weak. All right, when that's the very thing that we should be pushing and doing amongst the brotherhood. Now, there's going to be times where certain brothers are going to get got on. There's going to be times where you have to tell a brother about himself. All right, but we, we're not giving these leadership positions to lord over brothers and be a complete tyrant as the heathen are. All right, as the scriptures say, they're going to know how we differ from the rest of the world and how we love one another. Okay, and you can't let these Christians hijack these sayings. No, we have to be the real example of these things. Okay, it says, for even the Son of Man came not to, to, to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. All right, and that's starting with the elect. Okay, now vocab Malone, as we go into prophecy and the scriptures say our enemies will be you know, our footstool under Yahweh Shai, and we will be joint heirs, all right? Because the scriptures tells us that Yahweh Shai is going to have the heathen for his inheritance. But Yahweh Shai tells us he's going to, you know, as we're joint heirs with him, we're going to have power over the, over the heathen as well, all right? Remember what he gave to Peter, okay, uh, uh, um, in the form of authority was a key. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Okay, because this scripture... And verse 25 has nothing to do with prophecy of us ruling over the heathen. Okay, this scripture is speaking of how we should rule, all right, and deal amongst each other as a body of believers in following Yahweh. As a matter of fact, real quick, Peter reiterates this in 1 Peter's the fifth chapter. Okay. Advice for elders and younger men. All right. And this is a church. So for anybody that's out there pushing this disorderly madness that, you know, you're not you know, the camps are all wicked. You're not supposed to, you know, be in order. You know, uh, the particular you don't have to listen to any man. Well, so I would love for you all to do a whole uh, lesson on this chapter. First Peter five and one, the elders which are among you, I exhort whom am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach. Okay, he witnessed how Yahweh Shai came to serve. He witnessed Yahweh Shai, all right, uh, uh, doing his father's bidding in the earth. He witnessed Yahweh Shai's suffering. So as the leader of the church, he's exhorting based on what he saw, okay, and what he was taught. This is Peter, the head of the church, okay? It says, I am a witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Okay. And see, when you when you uh, follow him in his sufferings. OK, you're going to be a partaker of his glory. All right. And a part of suffering is sometimes you have to take the low. You have to be long suffering. You got to know how to deal as a man amongst men of the Lord who have different personalities Okay, you have to know how to operate. Okay, that's a part of it amongst many other things, man. As the Yahweh Shai said, ye are they which have followed me in my temptations. Therefore, 
I grant unto you what? A kingdom where you're going to sit at the table with me and rule the whole entire planet Earth. Okay? And that's in prophecy. And see, Vocab Malone is trying to figure out a way out of his destiny because he's listening to these videos and he's hurt. Okay? But we're just reading what the Holy Scriptures say. We're not just a bunch of disgruntled Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans mad about history. Now, we get mad about what happened and what your people did to our people. All right, but we, we also at the same time of the understanding that that had to happen and that it was because of our disobedience. All right, but we, we glory in the fact that, yeah, there is going to be a payback because you devils did too damn much. So we're going to be partakers of the glory that Yahweh is going to receive. And, and, and when you clearly go into prophecy, he's going to rule and, and over the heathen, Old and New Testament. Okay, feed the flock, First Peter 5 and 2, feed the flock. Okay, of God, which is among you, <clears throat> care for the flock, <clears throat> as you see it says in the NLT, care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. So you, you, will, you were given a position of a leader not to be a goddamn tyrant. And we're finding out that a lot of leaders, okay, the, the, who've been given these positions ain't dealing right. You see, and you see some of them, okay, kicked out and hurt trying to create their own narrative as to why they were kicked out. But the, 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 the bottom line is you weren't right, okay? And we're finding out others, okay? Because the Heavenly Father is getting his house in order, okay? It says, feed the flock, all right, of the Most High which is among you, meaning you're not tearing brothers down. Now, some brothers do have to be tore down to be built up, and Yahweh was a great example of that. Okay, sometimes brothers do need to be rebuked, need exhortation, okay, need to be suspended, stuff like that happens, all right? But it's all for that, for that brother to be built back up at the end of the day, as it goes into in Thessalonians. You separate yourself from that man, but you don't entreat him as an enemy, okay, but that he be ashamed of his actions and, and get better, okay? But we are to feed the flock. Let's look up this word, feed. Because I thought we can get you know, a few things out of this lesson. And we ain't got to play vocab in the brothers. I mean, y'all, everybody's seen it. He, he, he tried to jump to that scripture in Matthew to say y'all are wrong for saying that we're going to rule over our oppressors and, pay, and payback is coming. Nah. Nah. <laughs> All right. And the thing is, when we do get you heathen into captivity, we're not going to rule like Esau ruled. OK, now you are going to get paid back, especially you Edomites, but we ain't going to buck break you. We ain't going to rape your wives, rape your children. All right. We're not going to feed you unclean food. All right. But we can take something clean like grass. OK, and you, you could just have grass soup. OK, that's what you're going to eat. You Edomites won't have anything else. And you will wear, you will wear a mask 24 seven for the remainder of your lives. All right, from the time you're born, particular of you. All right, from the time you were born until the time you, you go to the grave, you'll have on metal mask, particular of you, particular of you who are doing all of this wickedness, all right, pushing these particular policies. And, 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 yeah, on my island or wherever we, you know, whatever the Lord give me, that's how it's going to be. Okay, and the air is going to be clean. It's going to smell good. It's going to be all kind of fruits and trees, thick, beautiful women. <laughs> All right. But my, my the Edomite servants in, in particular. All right. I'm going to have a special lawful way of paying you back. All right. And the scriptures talk about how we're going to meditate terror. But <clears throat> real quick, going back to this point. <laughs> all right. To feed the flock is. Strong G 4165. I forgot I had the earphone in. It says uh, poi. Meno, okay? Poi ma ino, okay? It says to feed, to tend a flock to keep the sheep, which, you know, the, the, the uh, a shepherd and a sheep, all right, is a very, um, that's a narrative that you can find throughout the whole, Holy Scriptures. And Yahweh Shai was as a great shepherd unto us, the sheep, okay? And he cares for the sheep. Okay, and there's a particular relationship you have to establish with the sheep 
<clears throat> now, sometimes sheep can get simple when you get on them. All right. But the relationship between a shepherd and his sheep. OK, it's, it's a beautiful relationship and it's based upon trust. He knows them by name. He, he knows how to decipher each one from the other. He knows all of their various different personalities. If one of them gets lost. OK, he'll go and find it, get it out of the ditch, put it on his shoulders and bring it back. OK, you, you, you got to care for the sheep. OK, you can't use your position as a leader to just be an asshole and tell somebody to go get you some wine or, 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 or just try to act like you just this great grandocious nigga. That's what Yahweh Shah was talking about in that chapter. He wasn't talking about when we get the kingdom. All right. And how we're going to be ruling over the heathen. All right. Anyway, to cherish one's body, to serve the body, to supply uh, requisites for the soul's need. There you go. So you're doing the videos, you're building amongst the body. OK, you, you're dealing with brothers issues, you know, like you're constantly being an example. OK, that's the, 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 the you're a shepherd. OK, so what is what does he say? Feed the flock of God, which is among you. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. See, not grudgingly. Watch over it willingly. Okay, this is your job. This is what you were born to do. Not to, uh, 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 you know, whatever you're doing in this world. Okay, you. this is what you were born for. All right, your, your earthly job. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's the Lord giving you that job so you can be able to supply for yourself, help brothers or whatever, but... This is your true job. You're a watchman. And the Lord has given you a body of men and has given you a head position. That's, that's important. Okay, not grudgingly, not for what you get out of it. You see, a lot of men are leading for what they can get out of brothers. Okay, and that's a horrible example. Okay, but because you are eager to serve the most high, man. OK, you putting brothers in crazy ass situations. All right. All for your greed and what you want to come up being wicked, man. And these things ought not to be. So you're not you're willingly serving, not for filthy lucre, not for what you can get out of a brother. OK. It says neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being an example to the flock. See, don't lord it over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. And if you're not, eventually the Lord is going to call you out and, and you're going to be through. OK, because the Lord is always watching. OK, you can fool men, but 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 after a while, them angels going to expose your ass. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall ye shall receive a crown of glory that shall not fade away, which comes with authority over the heathen okay so when yahweh gave peter that authority now let's go back real quick he says neither as being lords over god's heritage you're not being an asshole okay just beating the sheep for no goddamn reason kicking the sheep talking shit to the sheep making the sheep afraid okay now they should be afraid in the sense that you on point and they want to be on point and they, you know, be, they want to be respectful and, you know, cause it also gives a, uh, a order to the younger men to submit themselves to the elder when you read verse five. So there's a, the, this, or this is a good chapter for brothers to read, but you can't, you, if you're a leader, if the Lord gives you a leadership position, you got to be on point. You can't be lording over brothers talking shit, being a, you know, a, a peach cobbler and ice cream eating nigga. OK. Now, <laughs> now, right here, this is what Yahweh said, Matthew 20 and 25. But Yahweh called them and said, "Ye know. Or let's read it in the NLT. You know that the rulers in this world lorded over their people. You see that? And the officials flaunt their authority over those that are under them. But among you. It will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant. So you must have be an example of humility. Okay, we're here to serve. Okay. And be in order and be an example. All right. Because we're here 
to, to, to uh, uh, replicate Yahweh Shai in the form of our fruit. Okay, as we, uh, 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 what, what we've been given, okay, uh, are an example of Yahweh Shai, the fruit that we get, we want them to be examples of Yahweh Shai and that our fruit may remain. And the fruit got to be fruit meat for repentance. So when Yahweh Shai gave Peter authority, I believe that's in this chapter, Matthew 19. Let's see here. Yeah. That's a good one, but um key. Let's get uh Matthew sixteen and nineteen, Salakia. This is Matthew sixteen and eighteen. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock will I build my church, the tabernacle of David, all right? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, okay? And he promised us that, okay? These devils and everything they're getting ready to come with is not going to prevail against the church of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay? And the, the, begin, the beginning of the tabernacle of David started once Yahweh Shai started this church with Peter being the head disciple, okay? In these latter days, that tabernacle is being complete, okay? As us, the Gentiles, are being linked onto the fold, man. Okay? Being brought into the fold. Israelites, all right, awakening from a dead state. Okay? It says, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Meaning a complete judgment is going to be given unto the tabernacle of David, starting with David, Peter, okay, when you look up this word keys, okay, Kleis, it says, since the keeper of the keys has the power to open and shut, like we're going to have dominion over judgment, literally under Yahweh Shai, throughout the whole entire planet earth, metaphorically in the New Testament, to denote power and authority over various kinds. Now, when Yahweh Shai gets his kingdom, let's get that in uh, Psalms, the second chapter. Let's get some Hebrew hopscotch going on in here, right? <laughs> let's see here. Psalms chapter 2, and I I'm going to read this in the NLT. Yeah, the NLT is dope. I was watching the video yesterday where Apostle uh, Tahar was going into the NLT, and he said he saw the Sakari do it. But, you know, I saw the, the first brother who I saw do that is that brother, elder brother Karataza from Vegas. But it doesn't, you know, it, it ain't like who started it first or who, you know, but that brother, uh, I saw him, and I don't watch all of the Sakari videos, so maybe they started it, who knows, but I saw that brother do it first. <laughs> All right, but it's a beautiful thing because that what the NLT does, and while we go into it, the King James, as far as translation, is supreme from the Hebrew and the Greek, right? But the NLT gives you a more modern understanding because the old English is very, very hard to understand sometimes. So you can get more out of the NLT, which is why I have the, the, the King James on the left and the NLT on the right. So what it says in the King James is, I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. All right, now, you know, if somebody just coming in, they wouldn't know what the holy hill is. The holy hill is Jerusalem. And the king that he's going to set over that is Melchizedek, Yahweh Shai, because Melchizedek was the king of Salem and priest of the Most High God. And we're going to be kings and priests under that order, all right, once we return unto Jerusalem. New Jerusalem is coming down from heaven, all right, as a spiritual government, a body perfect all right so when you read it in nlt it kind of goes a little bit more into it right it says for the for for the lord declares i have placed my chosen king all right on the throne in Jerusalem, jerusalem city of peace on my holy mountain okay and when you when you get revelation the uh, 14th chapter 
Okay. Revelation 14, and I looked, and lo, a lamb stood up on Mount Zion, Mount Zion, same thing, Jerusalem, that's where the temple sat on a high mountain, okay, and with him 140 and 4,000, having his father's name written in their forehead, that is the, 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 the governing body, okay, that are going to have authority, okay, and we're going to kick ass in righteousness, how about that? <laughs> For the Lord, for I, for the Lord declares, I have placed my chosen king on the throne in Jerusalem. The throne of David is going to be established as a government on my holy mountain. The king proclaims the Lord's decree. The Lord said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Okay. <laughs> and that was in the beginning. Only ask, and I will give you the nations as your inheritance and the whole earth as your possession. So the throne of David, the tabernacle of David, is going to have authority. Okay, there are set thrones of judgment. Okay, according to uh, Psalms uh, 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 122, even the thrones of David. Okay, so in verse 8 in the, in the King J, ask of me and I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Okay? Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. What does this mean? Be ye wise now, therefore, O ye kings, and be instructed. That's us. And hopefully we're a part of that governing body. Okay? Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. Okay? Because we're going to be the judges of the earth. If we keep, all right, to, the, to what he told us to do. Okay, kiss the sun, meaning submit to the sun. Kiss in the ancient world, okay, meant to embrace. Now, you did have a holy kiss where you would lock cheeks. It's not mouth to mouth in the Eastern, but that was a sign of reverence and love. But really, it's saying submit to God's royal son, or he will become angry and you will be destroyed in the midst of all your activities. Okay, and a lot of niggas are going to be destroyed and found out. That's why it's best to repent and do right. That's why the Lord gave us that day of atonement. Okay? So he's saying he's going to give us authority over the heathen. And he even, okay, says it again in, in the New Testament. In Revelation 2. It's like when we bring these points out, it's like it doesn't even exist. Because really it's who we are. Nothing that comes out of a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American's mouth that goes against the status quo what Esau has pushed matters. So it's almost like when we say these things, heh, it's just a, it's a joke. But see, reality is soon creeping up. Okay? <laughs> and you just watch what's getting ready to happen. Okay? As uh, the Lord destroys this kingdom and eventually gives us power when he returns and then returns, man. Revelation 2 and 25, but that which ye have, hold fast till I come. Okay? And that's what we're doing. We're holding tightly. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation, authority over all the nations. Read that in the NLT. Okay? Because there used to be, there was a laughing joke amongst vocab and the Christians. All they do, they, they don't read no other version. Well, now the spirit is out there with camps are going into the NLT. So you don't have that to say anymore. And when we go into it, it further expounds on what we've been saying. To all who are victorious and who obey me to the very end, to them will I give authority over all the nations. Okay? And they shall rule them with a rod of iron. So the heathen will be our inheritance. The earth will be our inheritance under Yahweh Shai because we're joint heirs. Okay? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken in shivers. Even as I have received of my father. So what I have received of my father, I'm sharing with my brothers. That's what Yahweh Shah is going to do. Okay. Let's get this scripture real quick and we'll end it. I mean, we can go to various other scriptures as well. Because the scripture can't be broken. So yeah, we're going to rule over the heathen. Okay. I mean, we, 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 you know. Luke 22 and 28, ye are they 
which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me. Okay? That ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel, setting everything in order. Okay? All right? And hopefully we're at the table with Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> That's the 144. And the table, okay, because you have to understand the priest were like the bankers of Israel. All right. So when we get the 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 the, the whole earth, okay. When you get when we get the whole earth, okay, we're gonna be like the elite bankers on the right hand side under Yahweh Shai. All right, but we won't have paper money. The earth will be the money, the resources. Okay? And you're gonna have authority and judgment all right over resources and over particular heathen in particular regions trapeza a table a table where food is placed a table in the temple at jerusalem which consecrated loaves were placed where all of the tides and everything went all right it says um let me just get to the point verse the the the, the end it says the table or stand of money changer where he sits exchanging different kinds of money for a fee and paying back with interest loans or deposits. Now, one of the blessings of the Israelites, all right, which this applies and this is coming when you get Deuteronomy 28 and, um, you know, the blessings for obedience and we will have the laws written in us. So we will be obedient. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. <clears throat> Whew, this whole thing is beautiful. The Lord will guarantee the NLT Deuteronomy 28 and 8. The Lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do and will fill your storehouses with grain, the entire planet Earth, the resources. The Lord will bless you in the land he is giving you, Jerusalem. All right. And then from there, we go throughout the whole entire earth. If you obey the commands of the Lord, your God and walk in his ways, the Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he swore he would do. Then all the nations of the world will see that you are a people claimed by the Lord and they will stand in awe of you. The Lord will give you prosperity in the land he swore unto your ancestors to give you blessing you with many children numerous livestock and abundant crops you see that the lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless all the work you will lend to many nations but you will never need to borrow from them okay that's the type of power and authority that's coming to the israelites under yahweh shai all right under our king david man the throne of david being established in the earth as it is in heaven hopefully you all were edified shalom